Ben Gavir. This is from, this should be very interesting because it's from the times of Israel. And so we'll take whatever is written with a grain of salt. Um, just like all the other articles we read and with some kind of bias. Ben Gavir, good luck to Ashed in leftist politics. Lapid retorts, a national disgrace. National security, oh, and there's a uh, picture of our buddy, Ben Gavir. Uh, this is from June 15th, 2023. Boy, he looks so pious, doesn't he? Yeah. No. Uh, looks, looks, no. <laughs> looks can be deceiving. No, he doesn't. No. What? No, because because no, you know who he is, right? You know who he is. I know who he is. Mm. Yeah. So he can't. He can't pull. He can't fool us. Um. National Security Minister Itamar Ben Gavir brushes off the parting Tel Aviv police chief Amichai Eshed's criticism, saying his statements today prove he was, quote, a political officer. Hmm, pot calling kettle, huh? Um, he wishes him, quote, great success as a candidate for a left-wing party in the next election, end quote. Opposition leader Yair Lapid rails at the minister, saying Eshed served, quote, served for three decades under various governments, ministers, and police chiefs, and was never called political, never had his professionalism and dedication doubted. This is really weird. How can you be in a government and not be political? But okay. Quote, I, I salute him and thank him on behalf of the Israeli people for his long nights of wakefulness. Oh my goodness. For his long nights of wakefulness to ensure citizens slept soundly, Lapid says. Ben Gavir's response makes clear that this is only the beginning. Oh, this is interesting. This is what the start of a dictatorship looks like. This is what loss of direction looks like. A national disgrace. Well, that I can't disagree with. That's it. That's it. That's from the live blog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he was that uh, police uh, commissioner or chief. He was, like you said, three decades, worked through many administrations. Mm -hmm. This was Ben Gavir. Was too much. Yeah, Ben Gavir. I I just love that that one sentence. Um, shows he was a political officer. Okay, so what does that make you, Ben Gavir? Um, you know, are you not a political officer? Um, right. and he I mean, was able to serve with all these different, you know, people. Yes. Years. Yeah, and now he's just he's dismissing the man as a a political officer and b someone who's left wing, and we know where that kind of language goes very quickly. Left mm -hmm. wing. I mean, this is where I think the U.S. started to go downhill when um, people used to call liberals cancer, you know, cancer in the, I mean, I'm not a big fan of liberals, but let's talk about what their policies were, the policies that were no good or the policies that didn't help advance equality and justice. But let's not just call names. Because um, once you start calling names, it's, when does it stop, right? Um, well, in Israel, it doesn't stop. They call names all the time. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not sure it stops here in the United States either. It hasn't, hasn't stopped yet. 
Um, yeah, you the know, quality I, you make here is constantly marred by name calling and characterizations of candidates. For mm -hmm. example, of the smears and uh, um, uh, you know, the name calling uh, okay, that have been directed at Robert F. Kennedy. Mm -hmm. uh, a sincere effort to simply dismiss him and just call him names. And it, it's likely to start with Cornell West. I think it probably already has.